Okay guys, I'm back. So I took out um, about two to three more in the front. Um, these, you know, I'm liking these. Um, they still feel a little hard to me. So, you know, I, I try to think over the past couple of minutes, you know, what could be going on. It could be that the coconut oil, when I mixed it in yesterday, um, like I said, at some point when I was mixing my mixture, here it is, um, it was starting to get a little hard, um, but it's not that hard now. So it could have been a number of things. Um, I know I had the little come to Jesus moment yesterday with, with the crown on my head anyway. Um, it could be the fact that, you know, I don't know. I think this was one of the sections that I put a little bit more of the curling gel souffle in it. Um, but like I said, I'm definitely not liking that particular piece. And I'm kind of scared to open up the rest of the um, crown section. And the only reason why I'm, I'm saying that is because, or I'm focusing here, is because this is where I usually have the hardest problem with moisture in my hair. Um, when I use the Shea Moisture stuff, as sticky and as sometimes that I don't really care for it that much, my hair actually feels the same all throughout. It's, it's all more feeling. It's all... Um, whether it's dried and it's still kind of soft because I told you one of the, the ways that I've been using the Shea Moisture so it doesn't get too sticky is I put it on more damp hair so it's kind of really wet um, and I still get the same effect of it being you know soft without it being sticky so I don't know what's going on with this particular section um, I'm thinking about retwisting it, adding more of the um, shea butter mixture and olive oil, and um, olive oil and coconut oil mixture in it. Um, I don't know if I should put more of the um, curling gel souffle in it or not. I'm looking at my, at my ends. My ends probably could use a good little trimming. I might trim my ends a little bit. Um, but I'm really not impressed with my crown area. Um, and like I said, that's a major deciding point for me. You know, and I'm not going to attribute it to the coconut oil. I'm definitely not contributing it to the coconut oil. It just could be my hair. <laughs> it could be the process. You know, a lot of times... It's not the products, it's the process in which we use the products. So, maybe a dab of the um, curling gel souffle. And I'm just going to retwist it. And maybe I'll just check on this one a little bit later. Maybe 30 minutes to an hour. The one thing I'm, I kind of don't want to retwist it, um, I just added a little bit more the um, curling gel and I'm going to put some of the shea butter on top. Um, is because the more you twist it, the more stretched out it becomes and sometimes it doesn't retwist the same way. At least mine doesn't. I can tell right now <laughs> that's totally different. Plus, it's a it's dry. It's not wet. Okay. Um. So yeah, I might open this one just for to see where it's at. I can tell right now this one is not feeling the same way that this one was feeling. I don't know. This just could be a bad patch of hair over here. I don't know. Um, so I was getting a little wary, but these two pieces that I open in here aren't feeling that way. Like I said, I definitely had to come to Jesus moment on this side and I think on this side as well. So I'm just going to let this one sit <laughs> a little bit longer. 
with that. And um, I'm wondering how this one comes out too. Yeah. Okay. So I will be back in a few. Maybe once I have this set for like 30 minutes or so. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.